Hello everyone, the cats are fed and it's time for another edition of Try Hard Racing with me, Roll Cage TV. Where I do the best I can with what I've got, which is not a lot of talent, but it is a lot of sad face kitty. <laughs> My one cat is used to uh, crawling into a pillowcase and sitting next to me after she eats dinner and unfortunately her pillowcase is not available because I have my tablet leaning against it the pillow is folded in half and the tablets leaning up against it to uh, help me monitor my stream so she's just sitting here looking at me all sad face scratching at the pillow like come on what's the matter with you open up the pillowcase so I can get in it you know we do this every day after I eat I try to remind her, no, we don't do this every day after you eat, because some days you go run off and do other things. And then I have to go off and do other things. But sometimes, during some meals of the day, we, you know, you do do that. Anyway, so I'm here, and uh, we're ready to jump back into the career. And you know, I really need to start paying attention to things. <laughs> um, for some reason it's telling me that uh, I need to connect to the Microsoft Store which I shouldn't have to do is there a problem with my uh, player card or something no it knows it's me ah there we go okay it just took a minute to catch up it does that sometimes. So anyway, as long as we're here, um, we're going through the campaign. That's what this is all about. In case this is your first time joining, I'm doing a Dirt 5. Once ignorant, now slowly knowledge is dawning upon my brain. Playthrough. I had never, seen the, I had never uh, touched the game before coming in here for the first episode. Oh, and by the way, the first episode should be available to everyone right now. And... Uh, there is still one copyright claim that is getting, uh, having a hard time getting scrubbed. So you might still be getting some ads on it, but for the most part, it should be uh, pretty clear of ads. In case you haven't watched it, I'm uh, going to continue to try to get rid of that background music if I can do it through using YouTube's tools. Otherwise, I might have to just trim out that segment. Unfortunately, it's not a very long segment. It's just a bunch of me babbling. But uh, we'll keep trying. Because I want people to enjoy these videos without having ads placed in them by music companies, which deserve to have money for the music that they've produced. One of the people that claim the copyright is uh, BMI, with his, which is an uh, organization that actually gives the money to the musicians, not, not money for the record company. So it's not just the record companies, it's the musicians that deserve the money, the artists that deserve the money for the work that they produce, and it was licensed to... Um, you know, Codemasters, but it wasn't licensed to me, so the artists got money from Codemasters, but they didn't get money from me, so they came claimed uh, copyright uh, on uh, their music, and uh, now we're going to run ads to uh, try to get some of that rightful money. So I can't blame that for that. It was my fault during the first episode. I did not have the music muted. I wasn't thinking. I know I should have, but I wasn't thinking. We have now fixed that. <coughs> sorry had a cough there we've now fixed that as you may notice there was no music in the intro there was just me babbling and that's why so anyway as i was saying here before i go into the campaign you'll notice there are three things listed there is the campaign the main campaign and then there are these two Expansion kits. Now, I don't know what the expansion kits have other than one extra chapter of adventure. Um, it may be that they're in new locations, although some of these seem to be the same. So I don't know if any new locations were added. Um, but sometime before the next playthrough, I'm going to see if any of these locations do not appear in the main game. And if they didn't appear in the main career, then I'll make sure that I go ahead and do these as well for some bonus material. They're very short, they're one chapter's worth. 
where the main campaign is five chapters. And speaking of the chapters, I came in here and I said at the end of the last playthrough, well, what I'm going to do is I, I cross the barrier into the red zone by unlocking like these two, finishing this, this challenge and then unlocking these two. And I said, well, I'm going to come back and do a little practice, finish these two and unlock the rest of these. So, you know, we have a broad front of things to choose from while we're in the red zone. I wasn't paying attention um, <clears throat> when the thing started and it told me that there were these, these uh, main events at the end of each chapter. And these are main events at the end of each chapter. Before you move into the red zone, you notice on the right there it says showdown main event icebreaker. Well, this is the showdown chapter. And if we go back to the uh, velocity chapter, you'll see these are velocity main events. Main event, main event. Well, what the main event means is you don't just get participation medals in the main event. You have to actually finish in the top three, I believe it is, in order to get one of those uh, one of those medallions, one of those yellow stamps. And if you don't get the yellow stamp, you don't open up the next next uh, path. So I actually uh, had to work to open up these other paths. I had to uh, finish. In this case, I finished number two and number two in both each of these. Um, and it was difficult. <laughs> I had to race each of them several times. So now I know when you get to the end of the chapter, they don't give you uh, participation medals anymore. You actually have to uh, do well. And it's hard to do well. Anyway, today we uh, have the last chapter to do. I'm going to see... Uh, uh, you know, how far I can get through this last chapter. There are main events, of course, at the end, and I'm assuming that after I complete one of these main events, or maybe all the main events, then I will uh, face uh, our dastardly um, rival. I don't know what these 121s mean on here. Hmm. I wonder if that means I need more, more medallions. I need 121 more medallions. I got to come back and check that. Somebody remind me to come back and check that. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, I might have to actually might actually have to go back and do some other events to make sure we get get 121 of these. Well, we'll see. So regardless, this will not be the last episode. I'm gonna go through the chapter, try to get to you know play through like I have been doing. Try to unlock all the races, though not do all the races. Um, then when we get to this point, if, uh, I still can't unlock these main events, we'll, uh, go back if there's time today. Otherwise we'll start up again tomorrow. And then I expect that tomorrow will be, uh, spent trying to beat the final challenge. We'll start on that. If it takes me a while to do it, then it takes me a while to do it. Um, everyone who's watching later on YouTube will get to see me struggle because, uh, I just take the, the, uh, content right from Twitch and move it up to YouTube, which reminds me to say that if you are watching on Twitch and you've missed something, you missed one of the earlier episodes, you look in the VOD list and you see that it's already been two weeks and uh, all the videos are down from Twitch, well, almost immediately after I end the stream here on Twitch, I copy it up to YouTube. I archive it up there. So if you are on Twitch and you are looking for something that is no longer on Twitch, you can find me on YouTube, my ID is Rollcage TV. If you search for Rollcage TV, all one word, you should come up with the uh, my channel. It has the same profile picture that it has here on Twitch, so you'll recognize the little cat, racer cat thing. And um, also, of course, there is a link to my YouTube uh, channel in my Twitch profile. And um, yeah, I guess that's it. All over the place, all over the world, you'll find links to my thing, not all of it, anyway. Um, also, if you are watching this after the fact on YouTube, as it seems many people do, um, thank you. I like it. I very much appreciate you watching on YouTube. That's why I keep this content archived up on YouTube. I would like to make the quality of the videos better on YouTube since uh, YouTube generally has better quality videos than just uh, the streams you see on Twitch. However, I can't do that unless I get to a higher tier level in the Twitch hierarchy. So if you want to see better quality streams or you just want to help a brother out and you're over on YouTube, um, or if you want to see better quality videos and you're over on YouTube, 
then uh, please consider coming over to Twitch and giving me a follow. The best way I can make better quality videos is to make better quality streams. The only way I can make better quality streams is to get more followers on Twitch. Therefore, if you come over to Twitch and give me a follow, that'll help us all achieve that goal. If you're watching on YouTube, the Twitch profile is uh, a link to my Twitch page is um, in the description of the video. It's also on my YouTube profile, or you can just go to Twitch and look for Roll Cage Underline TV. Roll Cage Underbar TV. If you know the guy that has Roll Cage TV without the underbar, I let him know I'm looking for him because I want to give him money. Anyway, so enough of these introductions. Let's go figure out what we're going to start with here. Oh, also, you may notice to the right and to the bottom, right above where it says profile, right above where it says Ultra Cross, you'll see Beats by Dre. It turns out that I achieved level 15 of 15 with my um, lat, last, lat, <laughs> my last, uh, sometimes it's hard to transition from opening spiel to actually saying things. Um, my uh, last sponsor I reached the highest level, so I was no longer getting reputation points out of that sponsor, so I switched to somebody else, and Beats by Dre was offering me a good amount of pay. Not quite as much as the last sponsor, but the best yet, and I like Beats by Dre, so I uh, signed up with them. After about 15 races or so, I'll have to sign up for somebody else, so that's how that works. Anyway, let's see. We have um, an Ultra Cross, a Rally Raid, an Icebreaker which I'm going to avoid if I can, because that those are really difficult. <laughs> a sprint, um, modern rally, okay, classic rally. We have a Gymkhana, and, well, let's start with a Gymkhana. Why don't we start with a Gymkhana? That'll be fun. And uh, I will pick the green car, because I know the green car is my favorite car. That's why I paint all my favorite cars green. There is a method to my madness. So, folks, no more information if you're wanted on the uh, air conditioner front. <laughs> we'll get into that a little bit later. Oh, I completely missed that thing. I have actually no talent to give talent and actually no idea what I'm doing half the time. Got three rows in a row, whatever those be. Trying to stay on the pad there. I think that's the goal. Oh, I'm supposed to drift through there, not ping pong off of it, I think. This isn't pinball. Not a big fan of these Jim Con events. I think I've mentioned that before. Oh, I'm having a hard time getting started here. I am glad that this is not like Dirt, uh, dirt 3, where you have absolutely had to. Oh, I wanted to hit the target, not that. Oh, well. In Dirt 3, you had to get good at Jim Con to be able to progress through the... Career mode. I'm not good at Jim Connor, so it took me a long, long time to progress through the career mode. I'm glad that I don't have to get actually good at it. Even though I seem to always get two of those stamps, those medallions, those gold Ds. And uh, I don't know how to get three of them. I don't know how to get one of them. Maybe if I paid attention and looked at the screen, I would figure that out. But uh, I guess uh, I don't pay attention to a lot of things, and that's one of them. There you go. Okay, so let's continue on trying to unlock all of these things as we go. Not doing them all, but unlocking them all. Which means if I want to avoid the icebreaker, and I do, I will be doing this sprint to unlock the uh, next event there. So let's do the sprint. And fortunately, it's not uh, in those sprint cars that... Uh, can't go straight, can only go in circles. 
Those are really difficult to handle. Oh, that's another thing. Some of my cars, you know, I always paint it green if it's my uh, favorite car. Well, my second favorite color is purple. And there's a few uh, cars now I have that one is better than the other in most cases, but the other one's better in certain cases. So now I have a green car and a purple car in a couple, couple cases. Anyway. And these sprints are these little small ovals, but fortunately they don't have to be in sprint cars. Because those cars are difficult. <laughs> And I'm not that good. I mean, I don't mind the challenge. I'm just not that good, and they're difficult, and I, I want to actually win the game, you know, finish the game. Oh, and as I said before last time, if you were here live, or if you watched the uh, replay of the VOD, um, I am looking to play another game when the Dirt 5 career mode is over. It will probably not be more than another few days. Um, even if I do the expansion content, that'll probably only stretch it out in the next couple days. So, uh, maybe three more episodes of this, and then uh, I'll be ready to move on to another game. Right now, what I am seriously considering is pulling out a game from a couple years ago called Gravel. It, uh, Somewhat similar to this. This game reminds me of that. I have not played it since not long after it came out, so I've completely forgotten what it was like. I don't believe I even finished the career in that. So what I'll be able to do is uh, just reset everything, start a whole new career. New, new profile, start a new career in that game. That's what I'm contemplating right now. If I don't hear another suggestion from somebody else about a game to play, um, when this is done. First place. I like first place. First place is good. It's much easier to get first place when I'm not in those... those, uh... those carts. Those sprint racer things. And you notice reputation points. That's nice. I was getting zero. If I start getting zero, I have to notice... Oh, you need to change, uh... Oh, that's kind of nice. Oh, I was going to look to see if I could get a green player card now that I have unlocked more things. But, uh, I didn't. I didn't look. But I, ha I am figuring things out. The Let's Play is almost over, and I'm starting to figure things out, so... <laughs> there you go. We have some um, breaking and, news here on the Oh no 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 oh no wait no. And not breaking news wait a minute some sort of new brake pad that helps you stop in the rain but I news thought that, that uh, hot I thought we were Benini done with the podcast after the conclusion of the dirt showdown this weekend we got Bruno Durant on the old dog and bone that's, <laughs> wait, that's wait, British wait, wait. for phone Bruno good showing from that rookie huh man uh, call my wait. attention I thought uh, I thought we were done do with those you have an announcement to make uh, um, quick, I gotta do something here. Let's do this one. Because I gotta get, get him quiet. Jeez. I hate those guys. I have said this before. I should go check the podcast now, see if a new chapter opened up. Um, to celebrate 50 followers, once I get 50 followers here on Twitch, I will uh, have a special 50 follower celebration stream where i will uh subject myself to listening to every one of those podcasts in full without snark in a row and then when it's all over i'll unmute my mic no i won't i i will listen to it without without comment i'll just listen to it and you can all laugh at how miserable i am listening to those guys for several minutes on end I have complained before that they always start you in last place, but I understand that. I mean, if you're, you know, if you're very, very good, you're going to pass everybody, and that's the exciting part. Once you get in first place, if you're better than them, it's not a, you know, it's not a fun game anymore. 
Of course, if you're worse than them, starting in last place is not fun either. So, oh no, this is going to be one of those cases where it's not fun if I spin out like that. Okay, folks, moved up to 10th, that's good. Um, 10th is okay, it's better than last, or not last. It's not not last. I feel like prefer higher, up, you know, better finish. Pretty long laps. Yeah, I did, uh, as I said, I did those uh, rear races to unlock the next next column and uh, found out that I had to actually finish third or better to get my stamp because they were main events. I also did some free play races to try out different vehicles. That's how I determine which I like best, second, second best. And I noticed there's an awful lot of locations there, and I'm not sure we've seen them all in the main game, so it's possible that some of those locations were added for the uh, DLC. I don't know the answer to that, because I refuse to look it up. <laughs> but I'll figure it out, or look it up if I have to. I don't want to do those extra things if it's all same stuff on the same tracks, etc. But I know when I look at the free play races, there's an awful lot of content there, and it doesn't look like we've raced all of that content here so far in the career mode, so. And I'm in fifth. I'm in sixth. Check that. I'm in fifth, as I was saying. Uh, sixth. I did say sixth. Seventh. Oh, come on. I can do better than this? No, I can't. I'm not that good. But... I can dream, I can dream that I can do better than this. I do think that the races are getting a little bit harder. That could just be my imagination, I think it probably is. Alright, one lap to go. Everybody seems to be faster than me. I think I have to start purchasing vehicles to really have success here in this last chapter. I think I need to start spending my money on new vehicles because uh, everybody seems to be faster than me. But then there are races like that last one where there was no, you know, it was just going around in circles, there was no challenge at all, and I, uh, you know, I, I uh, got in front of them and never looked back, so maybe it's not the car. Maybe the car is more than fast enough. Maybe it's just me. My guess is it's just me. This guy is really starting to annoy me. <laughs> the guy I've been fighting for fifth place for the whole time is really starting to annoy me. Come on, brother. I'm trying to publish content here. You want to give me a break? People want to see the hero win. They don't want to see your sorry self win. It's just a computer chip. Nobody likes you. I mean, no offense. Your motherboard likes you. <laughs> Put that joke. That was good. See, mother, like your mother likes you. Motherboard. At any rate, looks like I might finish fifth. And beat that son of a motherboard. Yes. Yes, indeed. All right, fifth place. I will get a stamp for that. I'm secretly fist pumping here because I, I beat that guy out at the last. 
<laughs> That's embarrassing, but true. <laughs> like, it's yeah, I want to beat that guy. Look how far you've gotten since you joined. Oh, no. Go on, you take a second. You think about those wins. Think about those times. I feel like I need to actually listen to some of these against now. Against the odds. The ones that didn't go your way and how you never stayed down for long. That's the attitude people want to see. <sighs> That's what inspires your fans. Because you do. Oh, jeez. AJ, you know, I really want to like you more than I like those podcast guys. Going. I don't think I can do it. Head down, work hard, be yourself. Yeah. You know, you can't skip these anyway. All I can do is talk over them. I can't skip them. Whoops, what did I hit? I don't know what I hit. I hit something by mistake. Yeah, when AJ is talking to you all serious like that, you can't hit a... There's no button you can hit to skip them. You just have to listen to them. You can't, can't go forward, can't go back, can't go sideways. It's like, this is life advice from AJ, and you just need to sit down here and listen to it, young man. So... Mm. Yeah. I'll do what most kids do and just wrinkle my face and not listen. All right, Stampede. I think it's been a while since we did a Stampede. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. This is unlimited class. This is the class. There's two classes in this game that I seem to really do poorly at. One are those little sprint cars, and the other is this unlimited class. So do I face my fears, or do I do something else? If you're watching on YouTube, go down in the comments and place your bets. <laughs> Give me a comment. <laughs> Tell me whether you think I'm going to chicken out or whether I'm going to face my fears. Face them, chicken. Face them, chicken. Which is it going to be? You got uh, two seconds to write a comment before you find out. Spoilers. Yes, I'm going to face them. Now, see, here's where I have a purple car. Because this car handles significantly better, but it's significantly slower. This car is significantly faster. But it handles significantly worse. When I'm in this car, um, everybody just takes off. I'm looking at tailpipes the whole race. But when I'm in this car, I have a tendency to skid out. So I don't do well on either of these. In a stampede, I think I'm better in this one. If it was like something on ice, I'd probably be better in this one. But I'll use this one. It's a nice color purple too, isn't it? Yeah, my favorite colors are green, number one, purple, number two, and then as a standalone color, blue. But um, I don't think blue goes real well with green and only marginally well with purple. So as a standalone, so as an accent color, I like orange um, after green and purple because orange goes well with purple and it goes well with green. And then yellow goes well with purple and it goes really well with purple. Uh, I'm not a Vikings fan. I just like that color. Um, and it goes well with green, so blue kind of doesn't go so great with purple and green, so. But as a standalone color, as a main color, blue would be my third favorite. Not that anyone cared, but I figured I'd let you all know, because you wanted to get me presents or something. <laughs> Wrap them in green, purple, and blue. Or just blue, and then green and purple or something else. Well, I think I chose wisely. I got near the front pretty quickly. Hopefully I'll be able to stay in front since I have a faster vehicle. Not the better handling vehicle. is pushing me into a wall. And I hate it when they do that. That's the other thing about this class of vehicles. They're really big and heavy. They have lots of momentum. And they just push you around like crazy. It drives me nuts. See, like that. I could have no chance. You couldn't see it, but I could not turn. I was being pushed right into that wall. Those, those mean old guys, those, those little brunos. Oh, you know what? I just had the most horrible thought. I bet in the final challenge against Bruno, you gotta drive one of these things. Oh, it's gonna, I'm for sure that's what it's gonna be. I'm gonna hate it. It's gonna take me 20 tries to beat him in the final challenge. Oh, I'm not gonna be able to sleep at night now. I'm gonna have nightmares about Bruno driving one of these trucks, pushing me into the wall. 
Okay, I won't really have much about that. I'll have much about other things. I don't like that. I'm doing well, though, in third place. I'm having the faster vehicle, so we're not completely just dusting me, although it's not like, uh, I mean, they are faster than me in places, probably because they take the turns better than I do. The problem with the performance in these cars is harder to make them turn them. That slows you down. If you know anything about driving games, <laughs> or driving, you know, any kind of racing driving, you, it's all in the turns. The faster you go is based on how well you can turn, not how heavy you can put your foot down. Notice I immediately think of driving games, not actually racing, because I don't actually race. <laughs> I just like to pretend that I'm a racer. I've been doing this ever since I was three years old, folks. And I'm still doing it. Living the dream. Living the fantasy. Fantasy is in the dream. One of those. All of those. I don't know. It's also a loud class. Step on my snark when they uh, make such loud noises with their engines. People aren't here to see your engines. People aren't here for my jokes either. I don't know why anybody's here. Why are you here? Leave a comment down below. Let me know why you're here. Why are you even bothering to watch? I uh, did my usual Dirt uh, Rally 2.0 stream. This morning, you left time. If you look at my uh, Twitch profile and my schedule, you'll see that I am streaming currently twice a day, morning U.S. time. I am uh, streaming Dirt Rally 2.0, game by the same makers that is similar in name, but nothing like this game. Very serious rally sim. And uh, then here in the evenings, I'm. Uh, doing this playthrough. Whoa, was that? Wow! <laughs> oh, man, I was up that guy's tailpipe. <laughs> yeah. Fifth place. That's fine, I'll take it. That's a tough class. Often finish near the back, so... And if you notice, all of them that say truck are um the trucks and the buggies are the ones that say buggy and otherwise if it just says class one that's the buggy so you'll notice on top are all the trucks and then one buggy and then a whole bunch of truck couple more trucks and then buggies and truck buggy so the buggies definitely finish near the end uh near the bottom the trucks finish higher up for the um ai so, if I want to be competitive with the AI, I just have to get better and learn how to drive those trucks. Is the bottom line. Because they're not going to stop using them just because I stopped using them. Well, I faced my fears. And, uh... I overcame. All right, you dirt heads. I'm James oh, Pumphrey. No. As always, Not again. joined by my co-host Nolan Sykes. What's and today up? we are Oh, for goodness sakes. Sport, Wait, are there more now? Oh, Lord, there are more. Dude, they're unlimited? Oh, man. no. Oh, no. What am I got myself event. into? You this is the 14th is. one it now. The dirt podcast by Donut oh, jeez. Tell me one thing. Yes, are you hyped? You know it, dude. How oh, my goodness. Wait, I gotta know what kind of race okay, this is this. I am pick a what car time, I want. Our dude AJ was going what kind of race is this? Let me back up. A land rush. So I'll pick the faster car. Which is not this one. It's this one. This one is rear-wheel drive. This one is four-wheel drive. So it's easier to handle, but it's not as fast. This one's faster. So I'll take this one because it's a land rush, and I think that's more straight stuff than crazy stuff, and it's not on ice. And I have no idea what they were saying on the podcast, and I don't care because I'm not going to listen to them until I get 50, uh, 50 followers. <laughs> and I'm forced to. I'm forced to listen to them. If I get 50 followers, I will do a 50-follower special 
And I will listen to every one of those obnoxious podcasts. I thought there were only going to be 12 when I first made that offer. Now I see there are more than 12 um, because they opened up new slots, which was kind of unfair of them. Okay, here we go. Oh, this is... What was I saying about at least it's not on ice? Wait a minute. It's on snow. This may turn out to be a disaster of epic proportions. Because I'm in a rear-wheel drive car when I could have been in a four-wheel truck. Could have been in a four-wheel drive truck. But I am in a faster vehicle, so... If I just got good, I would probably be better. I think we all know the chances of me getting good between now and the end of lap three are pretty slim. I am not last, though. I'm beating last. Whoa! Oh! That's skill. Avoiding that yellow flag. That was skill. That was not skill. Getting pushed out of the way. This is also a class that's kind of difficult to handle, but not terrible. The, uh, the one that handles better but drives slower, performs worse, is the actual paid money for version. I bought the paid money for version. I don't know, hold on, you know, it's like two dollars for a couple cars or a handful of cars or something. And uh, cash money car. And the cash money car doesn't do as well as this car in most cases. So I feel kind of ripped off. I got talked into buying a lesser car. Not that that's never happened to me at a dealership before. I actually uh, drive a Saturn. I used to love, I've gone through a whole series of Saturns. My Saturn is, as you might imagine, pretty old since they don't uh, make them anymore. I love the Saturn because I like, you know, I like the car. Um, but I also love the experience because they don't bother with you now. Maybe that means I'm paying more money in the long run or not, but as you probably have been able to tell from my reaction to those podcasts, I don't like obnoxious people, and that includes obnoxious car dealers. And so buying Saturns, I could avoid that. Now, I don't know, I have to go to cars.com or something. I definitely need to replace the car that I have now. I mean, I don't go. I don't buy brand new cars for dealers ever. I've always bought used cars, which is probably even worse. As far as having a dealer be, uh, yeah, a deal, a car dealer. <laughs> you know how car dealers behave, behaving like a car dealer. Car salesman is not uh, a well-liked person. Car salesman, um, you know, phone solicitor, um, Nigerian princess scammer. Those are people that are kind of bottom of the list. Did I say Nigerian princess? <laughs> Nigerian prince scam. If they had a Nigerian princess scam, they might make more money though. They should consider that. <laughs> While I was gabbing, running off the mouth, complaining about how difficult everything was, I turned out I'm in first place. Maybe I should complain more often. No, 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 Will Cage, let's not complain more often. <laughs> uh, I am having fun with the game, I have mentioned that. I was not really having fun the first couple times, and then I adjusted some things around. The first couple episodes, I was not having fun, but after uh, episode three here, three, four, this is five, I think, now I'm having a lot of fun. The campaign does seem to be pretty short and shallow, but uh, the driving is fun. So I may do some online games and things, but I probably will not do that uh, 
on this Let's Play, that might be, uh, you know, if I do online races in Dirt 5, that would probably be an unscheduled stream of some sort. Well, I see what you're trying to do there, buddy. I see what you're trying to do there. I see that little arrow is giving you away. The white arrow is giving away your plants, and you're still going to do it, aren't you? Well, cut you off down low, but then uh, there's probably more risk than you to take. Uh, I don't know where the finish line is. I'm hoping it's soon, because they're doing that AI thing of laying back and then going full guns at the end. But you let down your guard, and then, you know, they strike, they pounce. They hit their nitros. It is lap three. I'm still in the lead. Oh, there's the finish line. Oh, I'm gonna try to do it. I'm too far ahead. They can't get me now. Yes. Kitten wins again. Kitten wins again. Oh wait, I just remembered when I signed in today, AJ kindly told me that I had a new throwdown. I have to go look because I remembered that I had like two new throwdowns or something when I looked last time. I mean, after the last, uh, I did have a new throwdown that I noticed when I was practicing. So let's go look at the throwdowns. Oh, I'm so sure I'm going to have to play in that unlimited class against, against, uh, remember, with this Bag event, Doug or whatever his name is. I can't sprint. remember anything. Easy to learn, difficult to master. You knock I don't know. Um, what? Is that the third end? No. Oh, look at this. Oh, geez. Okay, the circles mean I had, I tried it and failed. The colors mean I tried it and succeeded. The, um, the black and white without the circle or the color means it's an outstanding throwdown that I haven't tried yet. I thought there were one or two of them. There are four throwdowns that I haven't tried yet, folks. <laughs> I wanted to do the throwdowns as they came up, and it seems that most of the throwdowns are weighted towards the end, so now I don't know what to do. I guess I'll do a throwdown and then a race and a throwdown and then a race, and if I fail it, I'll just skip it and come back to it later, but... Okay, let's do a throwdown. And then after this throwdown, I'll do another race, and then I'll come back, do another throwdown, and, you know, we'll keep going back and forth, and it might take us longer to get to the end of the chapter than uh, just tonight, but that's fine. Got to at least try the throwdowns. I think for the final episode, I'll sit and I'll try to, uh, I'll beat, uh, Duran Duran or whatever his guy's name is. Bruno. Bruno somebody or other. I'll try to beat Bruno. And, uh, then if I beat him quickly, I'll, ma I'll do all the rest of the throwdowns. Try to beat all of them. If it takes me a long time to defeat Bruno, then I'll just, you know, pack it in and say I'm not good enough. We get the throw down. Wait a minute. Oh, yeah, that's right. It's a head to head. I'm like, why are, why am I not staring at 11 tailpipes? I'm used to starting the race with 11 tailpipes in my face, but no. It's just me and one other guy. So, being first and being not last are one and the same, which is kind of sad, because then, you know, I only have one goal, which is to be first, and that's a much harder than being 11 out of 12. And I like to keep my goals obtainable, which is to say, not very high. See, this is a place I don't think I've been before. Have we done a race here before? I don't know if we've done a race here before. Maybe the throwdowns introduce new locations. I don't know. I'm just making it all up as I go along, because I have no idea. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Here he comes. Yeah, I got the inside of you now. What are you going to do? Oh, I know what you're going to do. You're going to push me away and I'm going to take the lead. Okay. I can see how that is. I can cut you off, too. Um, that's not the finish line. Oh, what was that? Where'd you get that speed from? Was this guy Deer Hunter or something? I did not look at who this guy was. 
You're supposed to be doing a career playthrough and I'm not paying attention to anything. <laughs> I'm definitely losing the color of the career mode by not paying attention to anything. It's hard to role play when you're, uh, you know, stand, you know, sitting on the edge of the stage, just kind of. not really paying attention. I don't know where I was going there. I was in place as a kid, you know? You're in place as a kid, and you're forced to be in a play, and you don't really want to be in a play. And so you're just sitting at the edge of the stage, not listening to the director, or the feature, or music director, or whatever it is, depending on what grade you're in. Just sort of sitting there. Like kids would do out in my field in baseball, but I love baseball, so I wouldn't sit in there. Not paying attention to baseball because I love baseball. But other things I didn't love so much in school, so I wasn't paying attention. I got better when I got to college. Stay in, cool, stay in school, kids. It gets better when you get to college. Everything gets better when you get to college. If you are uh, kind of seriously now, if I can get serious for a moment, um, if you're someone that's uh, in high school and you're having a hard time with socializing and stuff, Everything gets so much better in college, like you would not believe. You definitely rock the crowd. Well done. Thank you. Thank you, AJ. Yeah, it's like night and day. I mean, there's still a few few kids that are, have not matured out of the high school age yet, but uh, the vast majority of kids there are, uh, you know, they're in college now. And... Uh, it's much more fun, much much better social environment. The teachers assume that you're, you know, a young adult now. So, much better environment all around. So, if you're having trouble in high school, having trouble in junior high, it may seem like forever. I know it did for me. But uh, once you get to college, if you do get to college, if you can afford to go to college, I know it's not always easy, especially in places here like the United States. Um, but uh, it gets better. If you don't go to college, you go do something else. Um, oh, now I got to decide what, I don't know what kind of race this is. It's a challenge race. Uh, I guess I'll use this one. It's really bright outside here. Oh, it's a Jim Connor. It's a Jim Connor face off. What? Oh no, I have no chance. Anyway, what I'm saying is when you get out of school, even if it's, out of high school, even if it's not in college, but it's just in the workforce, but things are always much, much better for you. Socially speaking, you're actually around adults. They're more likely to like you and admit that they like you and not try to just project their own selves. Yeah, that's that's how we roll here. That's one of those Jim Connor stunts you didn't know about, was it? That running into the wall and then getting stuck there, yeah. That's advanced Jim Connor stuff, buddy. Oops. Yeah, I should have picked the other vehicle for this. Had I known it was Jim Connor, I would have picked the other vehicle. But this thing is very hard to handle. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Here's my specialty right here. This is where I run up the points. This is where I run up the points. Why is it not running up the points? There we go. Oh, I got off the little circle there. 30 seconds left. It's my only hope now. Take him down on this thing. I know this is boring, but... <laughs> I'm terrible. That's the, my best event. My best only chance of winning the throwdown is to do the one thing I'm almost good at. Because I grew up in a cold weather state and I'm learning how to spin around in circles. <laughs> okay. What happened? Did I get any anything? Does it tell me where I finished? How far back I finished from the other guy? Am I going to get any information, or did I just miss it? I just missed it. I don't know. 
I don't know. Did it tell me what my goal was? I'm not going to run it again to find out. Oh, wait a minute. I was supposed to go do an event next. There I am again. Not paying attention. Okay, events. Focus, focus, roll cage, focus. Okay, let's do the stadium so we can unlock the next level. And uh, this was the one I wanted. I don't have a purple one, so it's just this one. So, what was this? Ultra Cross? Oh, yeah, this was the one in and out of stadiums. And this is at the South Africa with the big guns. Big guns out front. Yeah. We got our big guns. We got our big trucks. Yeah, real men. Real men have big trucks and big guns. They both make lots of noise. And we beat our chest and say what kind of men we are. <sighs> All right, I feel good in this classic car. This is the kind of car I can handle. It's not a big, heavy truck. It's something light and nimble. That was on purpose. Just wanted y'all know that was on purpose. Okay, game. Sometimes you gotta break by hitting the wall. Better break is to hit the guy's fender. The guy's fender isn't available. The wall's in its best time. Whee! That's not gonna go well. Oh, thank you for that invisible wall there. That was in big trouble. I don't believe I've run this uh, course before at this location. I know there's multiple courses at the different locations, and this, this is pretty fun. Is that lap one? Lap one. Okay. In contention. Oh! There you go! He goes left, he goes right, I go down the middle. Those were not on purpose. But it worked. Man, that crowd sure is nice. Yeah! to the crowd is going by. I watched this one YouTuber. I do not remember his name. I'm really sad. I met somebody or other. He does dirt rally team uh, videos. And he's got like one of these motion. Um, I don't know if he has a D-Box, but that's one of the brands that are these full motion rigs where you, you, know, you don't just have a wheel and and uh, shifter and handbrake and all that stuff. Two shifters maybe. Got an eight shifter and a sequential shifter and all that stuff. Well, he's got all that stuff, but he's also got a motion rig. As long as he's bumping down the road, the rig is bumping up and down. He gets sellers, the rig tip, tilts him backwards. He feels the teeth for a second again. But anyway, the point I was making is when he goes by uh, little crowds of people, he's always takes one hand off the wheel and waves the crowd. It's much better than I am. <laughs> I would never be able to do anything like that. Controller wheel, regardless. I'd never be able to do anything like that. He actually has one, uh, come to think of it, he actually has one um, Gate 5 video out where he's doing like, stuff on ice. Better than me at that too, of course. Ice is my uh oh don't cut me off. Got it, held on. Thought they were gonna take me at the end there, closing in, but nope. I took them. 
Yeah, those Rallycross cars, um, I like them a lot. Probably my favorite car in the game so far. Speaking of Rallycross, in the mornings, U.S. time, um, 6, no, wait, 9 a.m., 6.30 p.m., 9 a.m. U.S. Central, I do uh, Dirt Rally 2.0. Daily challenges started off, and then for now, do that for an hour. Then after that, maybe I'll do a weekly challenge or a club race for another hour. Maybe an extra hour, depending on where I'm at. I'm doing those on Twitch uh, in the morning here in U.S. Central Time, where I'm at, afternoon in Europe. So if you're enjoying the Dirt 5 playthroughs and uh, you're awake then, or you're watching the replay on uh, YouTube because uh, you're in Europe and it's the middle of the night there and you think you want to look at something... Uh, a little bit more serious racing. You can watch my uh, my streams of Dirt Rally 2.0. And in the daily races, I just don't just do. I do uh, mostly the daily events are mostly uh, rally, straight rally, not rally cross. But Dirt Rally 2.0 is also the the official uh, World Rally Cross Championship sponsor. Something something. So. Um, they do have rally cross in the daily events. Usually, do have some rally cross tri time trials in them. So, I do those. So let's see. Uh, oh, let's do a pathfinder. I haven't done one of those in a while. <clears throat> there is only one car that you can pa find your path in, and that's this thing. The big deathmatch cage on wheels. Oh, the sound of that engine. Oh, gets me all going. Okay, gotta focus now. Gotta find the path. That's what, what this is called. Finding the path. Pathfinder. Oh, I wonder if this is the one where you go on top of the building and stuff I did in practice. No, I don't think it is. I'd like to do that on stream, that location. So that, was, that was one that was a little bit different and was interesting. You had to go on top of buildings and off on the ledges and stuff. And the head on the split, whatever that means. I'm not sure how you determine the split in, the, in this thing. I mean, I know how you do it, but it's... You can get bogged down at any particular time. Oh, watch this super jump. Watch this. Michael Jordan, look at that airtime. Oh, yeah. Because we all know the higher the slope, the higher you can jump. Oh, well, this is an extra little challenge for Sandstorm. Oh, no. Oh, and they're going to reset me. Are they coming for that? I don't know. That was a tough break. Still ahead and split apparently. Not quite as high of slope, so I won't get quite as much air time. Because that's how physics work, of course. Oh, uh, uh, uh. Am I going the right way? No, I didn't think I was. Okay, folks, this is going to be a disaster. <laughs> this, this was a poor decision on my part. I have so many regrets about this. None of them serious, though. Oh, that's kind of fun. Smacking around and crashing and having absolutely no idea where I'm going. Is that the way I want to go? No, that's the way I want to go. Oh, there's the high slope. Look at that air time. Steep slope means longer air time. We all know that to be true. Oh, what? Okay. If I am still ahead on the split time, I will be utterly amazed. Oh, in fact, I am, because I'm almost near the exit here. Watch this finish. Watch this finish line. I only needed to get to 2.30, and he does it. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, folks. Total domination. Three stamps. Three gold Ds. Whoa. Man, I just, I just overpowered that one. I just, I just showed him how to do it there. Total domination.
start to finish. Never doubt, never doubt that I was gonna get all the, uh, get all the, the stamps or whatever it is there. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> How I finish at the top tier with all of those resets and everything else is, uh, pretty funny, actually. <laughs> okay. Well, let's see. Icebreaker, Rally Ray. Well, let's do the Icebreaker. Let's get it over with. I didn't look at the class. Um, what class is this? I don't recognize it. Anyway. A smaller class. Not a big monster truck on the ice. It will still be some hard-to-manage rear-wheel drive thing, I think, though. So, if you're just joining, welcome. We're uh, going through a uh, Dirt 5 career playthrough here. Started blind a few episodes ago. This will be, I think, episode 5. Learned a bit about the game since then. We'll uh, probably be wrapping up in another three episodes or so, Matt. If you miss something here on Twitch, you can always... Check out the uh, replays I post almost immediately after the stream is over on YouTube, on Rollcage TV on YouTube. If you search for that without the underbar, you'll see me. Or you can follow my um, link in my Twitch profile, and I'll get you there too. <clears throat> well, so far, this is about the best icebreaker I've experienced ever. This is not like the ones in New York. This is uh, actually more manageable and kind of fun. I guess everything is less manageable in New York City. But uh, nothing wrong with that. There was a time in my life where I really would have liked to live in New York City. I don't think I would like to live there anymore. Mostly because I would never make enough money to be able to live there. I mean, comfortably. But if you're in the U.S., New York City is the place with all the uh, action. You're into that. I mean, uh, you know, no matter what time of the day or night, you can go do pretty much whatever you want. Because there are just so many people there. There's a market for everything at any time. I live in the Midwest, in Minnesota. Um, not in a small town. Not a small town guy. I didn't grow up in, the, in Minnesota. I grew up uh, in the Eastern Time Zone. But I like it here a lot. I grew up on the Great Lakes. Yeah, this is uh, the most successful I'm having an icebreaker since uh, the very first episode before I turned down my trash control. This is, uh, this is actually kind of easy. This is not New York City. We're not in New York City now. Let's see. We're back in Kansas. Yeah, there are, I'm not alone, right? <laughs> there are other cars actually in the race. I, uh, I don't know where they are right now, because I don't even see them on my map, but I do see there's at least three others behind me, but I know there are more than that behind me. I'm not going to pull an AJ, though, and try to let them catch up, because... You know, that didn't go well for him, and it would go even worse for me. You haven't been following the career storyline, folks. You have to go back and watch some of the earlier episodes. <laughs> and while you're there, leave a comment and ring the bell.
Yeah, I have no idea what my split time is. It's way over the four seconds or whatever it is before they uh, just turn to stop counting. Yeah, in episode one, somebody I uh, used to play with on um, uh, Forza Horizon 4, Highway Buster, who was a much better driver at this game than I am, and proved it by completely dusting me in a one-on-one -on -one race at the end of the stream. But he was saying he plays on the highest difficulty level of everything. This is the second highest difficulty I'm playing. He plays the highest level of difficulty except for the icebreaker events. I think there was one other. Well, uh... This icebreaker event is uh, probably not the ones he was talking about because this one's much easier than anything else that I've raced in the game so far. So, <laughs> don't know what happened, to everybody. It's a nice looking boat. So I'm getting distracted. Yeah. I'm looking at the scene. Where am I? In, uh, where am I? <laughs> I don't mean I just woke up from the coma. I mean, in the game, where am I? Am I in Finland? Am I in Norway? What? Uh, I thought I saw one of those flags, but I didn't get a close enough look at it. I saw it was an Norwegian flag. When you live in Minnesota, you have to be able to tell all of those uh, northern country flags apart. Otherwise, you're walking in the wrong bar and you never know what's going to happen. Oh, that's a joke. Everyone's really friendly here, seriously. Sometimes a little too friendly. I, uh, I come off a little out of place here. Like I said, I grew up uh, not on the East Coast, but you know, in the Eastern State. They're not used to me uh, just actually speaking my opinion out loud <laughs> where other people can hear it. Classic rally. Really? So that was the, uh, oh, that's the Fiat. That's not the 80s rally. Yeah, okay. That's a nice car. Nice stable car. I thought it was the, uh, the, uh, 80s Rally, um, Lancia. Well, that would have been very hard to handle on the snow. On the ice. Anyway. Three more medallions. Counting them down. Oh, I should go look to see, uh, what did I, what did it say? 121 or something? Let me see what it says now. If that is what it, it needs to unlock. That, the 121, I didn't know what it meant with a lock on it. I think it might mean the number of stamps you need. So let's see, did that number go down? No, it still says 121. So it has nothing to do with the number of stamps. I don't know what the 121 means. Hmm. 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 Minecraft village noise there. I used to play a lot of Minecraft. Don't know what that means. It'd be interesting to find out what that means, but... Uh, that's going to take me a while to get there. Now, this was the car I was talking about, the Lancia, with uh, rear-wheel drive. Kind of tough-to-handle car. It's a rally raid in Brazil. There won't be ice in Brazil. Ice in Argentina if you get on a Tierra del Fuego, but not in Brazil. warm in Brazil. Ice in your glass, I suppose, if you're a tourist. Brazil's kind of in a mess now. I feel really sorry for the folks there. Hopefully uh, things will start turning around. This is uh, spring, late spring of 2021, so if you listen to this live, you know what I'm talking about. There in India. This is uh, rather crowded. I mean, not last. That's my first goal, finish not last. Oh, I have little goals on the side there. That's right. 
Oh, air time. We need air time. So that means there's going to be a jump here, right? That's always a jump. Trading paint was the goal I got already. Two or three drifts. This should be pretty easy to get that third drift. I'm not even trying to drift. Oh, that lightning came on just as I hit the wall. I thought it was a concussion. I was getting a little worried. It's like, hang on, Roll Cage. Hang on. Look away from the light. I'm coming to get you, brother. Just hang in there. How many fingers am I holding up? Anyway. It wasn't a concussion, it was a lightning strike. Oh, did he hit me? Somebody must have hit me. I went really sideways. Not of my own volition. Although, it's happened to me before. Wasn't planning on going sideways, but I went sideways. Nonetheless, I just need someone to blame. So I'm going to say that guy hit me. He burnoed me. He pit maneuvered me. Okay, well, I'm in second. I'm fighting. In one direction for first, and the other direction to hold on to the podium. There's two guys right behind me. Actually, there's a lot more behind them, too, so I uh, probably need to focus here. It's not going to stop me from talking, though. Sometimes it does. Sometimes I shut up. Sometimes I have to, you know, take a drink or something. Oh, barely held on to the podium. The guys would fly and by me right at the end. Oh, man, that was close. They do that. They do that in this game. The other dirt games, they did that too. Just come flying right up on you. Right at the very end at the line. Beat you out of the line. It's so frustrating. But not today, folks. Not on that race. Later today, maybe. But not on that race. We held on. So I can see this throwdown challenge okay. waiting to get set. Oh, no, 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 wait, 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 wait. It's another one of those guys. Uh, uh, quick, pick something, pick something. I'll pick this one. And I'll pick that one. And I'll pick that one again. <sighs> Why did they put those guys in the game? They are unbearable. You know, I played other games where they have, like, yuck it up DJs. Um... I mentioned I play. I mentioned Forza Horizon 4 a lot. This game does not compare to that at all. I mean, it's not like it's better or worse. It just it's not at all the same. I've seen people compare it. It's it's not all the same. Um, but it is kind of it's an open world kind of unlike this open world. You drive around dirt and stuff as well though, and um, they have like DJs. They have different channels. So that's why I was wondering if you could change the channel on the podcast, guys. You can. They have different channels, and one of the channels are like the Noxious DJs, but they're nowhere near the Noxious as this. This is next level of Noxious. Well, I'm working up a little bit. Trading paint 40 times, my career objective. Surprised it's only 40 in my whole career, and I can't be 40 in my whole career. Maybe just since I got this last sponsor. Your career objectives are, I think, um, not based on like your entire career, but it's based on what your goals are for a particular sponsor. I do remember I gotta keep checking that because it's you make, you don't make, uh, you make sponsorship money as long as you have a good reputation with that sponsor and then you get reputation points and all that stuff. But you stop getting reputation points once you achieve the highest reputation you can with that sponsor and then you're going to want to find another sponsor because then you'll make more money and build up your reputation. Have the ability to build up your reputation even higher and the higher your reputation overall with all the different sponsors, the more money you'll make. So, 
you are encouraged to jump ship and not be loyal to your sponsor. Which seems uh, unfair to the sponsors, but... I mean, it's hard to find sponsors for racing as it is. I mean, I know sponsors, like, I'm not talking like Formula One, you know. I'm talking like even uh, World Rally Championship or Junior Rally or stuff like that. It's hard to find sponsors. Sponsors put a lot on the line. Try to get sponsors if you're a content creator. So, of course, it's easy if you're willing to, uh, you know, say exactly what the sponsor. If the sponsor gives you a script for like a mobile game that I will not name, and you are supposed to say exactly what they tell you to say in the script, and then they'll throw you some money for the video, then you know, that's a different kind of sponsor. That's not a sponsor that's putting anything at risk. That's a sponsor that's uh, just trying to use you. Use you to push an inferior product onto people that they think are in the demographic that they can uh, make money off of and that like watching your videos. We have no sponsors here because we're new. We don't have an audience. Once we get an audience, maybe uh, I'll sell out to a, to a sponsor of a mediocre video game. I don't know. Mobile game. We'll see. Drop me a follow on Twitch and, you know, we'll experiment. Like the, like the bell and subscribe. Like the bell? You know what I'm saying. Do all that stuff. So I can get a sponsor I can sell out to. But no, I mean like racing sponsors and you know other they they help pay for your expenses to go places and stuff. You wouldn't be able to race if you not car races are not not uh, right next door. Unless you live in the southern United States, then of course there are car races right next door. But uh you, know, you gotta travel to go to these car races if you wanna be a race car driver and, Sponsors are how you uh, how you get the money to travel. So anyway, what I'm saying is, if I were a sponsor, I'd want to have a word with the uh, makers of this game. Like, why are you making it? Why are you teaching people to abandon their sponsors? That's what they're doing. But anyway, it's a video game. Can't take it too seriously. Oh, look at this! Look at this! Oh man! I knew it! They came at me right at the end! I know I'm going to win it anyway, but man, I dropped all the way down to six right at the end. That was terrible. I don't even remember what I was, what I was doing, what I was racing. I was too busy ranting and, and raving about something. I don't even know what anymore. I wasn't paying attention. <sighs> Back of the class again. Oh well. Or front of the class. I guess if you don't pay attention to school, that's what they do. They put you at the front of the class. Oh well. Okay. Now what? Uh, let's see. We've got we got quite some time to go. If I'm going to uh, unlock. Oh, this one. I do one. It unlocks two. I do one. It unlocks two. Okay. So which one seems the easiest? Not the sprint. In East Mitten. You're not going to fool me this with well, that one, so we'll do this one. I don't know if it's a cart or not, but I'm not going to take a chance. East Kitten has not been kind to me. Sorry if you hear some scratching there. I bumped the microphone. Now we're in the land with the pink snow. I think it was here. Where they had snow, but the, it was at sunset, and it looked really funky and weird and neon, and didn't look like snow at all. It looked like 
white mud. Well, this looks better from the day. Oh yeah, look at those moves, look at those moves, first place. Now, that's how you weave through a pack. I oh, I got a thing for being first for 10 seconds. Wow, I'm confident in getting a medal for being in the lead for nearly 10 seconds. Oh, I had to get off that guy's deal. Open wheel racers are tough. If you lock wheels with somebody, you're, uh, you just have to back off. So yeah, if there was one thing I would change about this game, I mean, there's a few things I would probably change, to be honest. A few things I really like. A few things I would, I, I would change. But the one main thing I would change would be those, those podcast guys. I mean, come on. There is no age demographic that is not going to find that a match. These are, you know, 50 year old guys in suits with no kids trying to figure out what kids are. I'm not going to say where I am in relation to the uh, fifth row guys in the suits with my kids, but I'll just say I don't have a suit. <laughs> so that sets me apart. Actually, I suppose you don't have to not have kids, you just have to not spend time with them, which is sad. I hope whoever made the decision to bring in those podcast guys was well, doing it ironically and didn't actually think that it was seriously a good idea. Because <laughs> those guys are bad news. Anyway, I am in the lead. I am dominating, as always. You don't think those, those podcast guys are also in the uh, bonus chapters, right? The DLC chapters? Oh, man. I might be really in trouble. I'm going to listen to all of this if I get 50 followers. I mean, I hope I get 50 followers because I'll be able to make nicer videos, but... Not looking forward to doing a 50 follower stream where I listen to all of his podcasts. Well, I'm still within range of blowing it, which is to say I can still see blue dots on the map every so often. But, uh, I'm getting pretty far out there. The snow definitely looks better than, uh, that first snow we saw. This looks like snow. Okay, here we go. Kitten wins again. Kitten wins again. Those of you just joining, my, my ID is Roll Cage TV, but they ask you to pick a nickname because that's what the NPCs will call you by. I picked Kitten because I thought it was funny and because I like cats. And then they've hardly ever called me cat, so joke's on me. I didn't see. I should have looked at that rep see where I'm at. 
how close I am. I think I might be getting close. Let me check my sponsors. See how close I am to needing a new one. Uh, sponsors, where am I? 13 to 15. Okay, two more races and then I have to find another sponsor. Um, yeah, all these guys are pretty bad. Bat laces who I had last. Oh, Goodyear. Okay. Goodyear. Looks like they're going to be my next sponsor. I'm just comparing the numbers. Oh, Monster Energy. They're a monster sponsor. Okay. What? Oh, man. I cannot possibly take on Pepsi as a sponsor. I will lose half of my audience. They're paying the most money, 22000 versus 7000 Oh, wait, Spy. Spy is also 20000 Okay, that's my next sponsor. Right? Total, total, uh, cereal, 21000 Sorry. Gonna have to go to Spy next. So that's in two more races. So let's see, Pathfinder or Jim Connors? Pathfinder or Jim Connors? Well, let's do a Pathfinder. See, it was as ridiculously easy as that last one where I spent most of the time on my, on my head, on my nose, on my back, and uh, still ended up with uh, the maximum points. Italy, was this the one? This might have been the one. Yes, this is the one. Oh, good, I get to do this on stream. This is the one where you're like on the roofs of places and trying to drive around. It's really pretty cool. And up the super slope. Oh. That's another thing I would choose. The fact that slopes are magical and the, the steeper the slope, the higher you, you jump. I don't know, it's, I guess, kind of a cool video game in the piano. It's like a double jump. Does that make any sense? A double jump? But, you know, it's a game mechanic that's very popular in platformers. You would not want to play a platformer that didn't give the ability to double jump, because you'd feel like you'd been cheated. Because it's, uh, you know, it's a meme. It's a cliche. Oh, under the big rock. Through the... Oh, it's a rock quarry. I get it. I get it now. It's a rock quarry. Not a rock lobster, a rock quarry. Go up the slope. I'm still in the green split, but I'm getting split in half here with this. Okay, this is this is getting hard to see where I'm going. Okay, now this is where this is where I meet my match here. I'll I'll ride, I'll reset the track. Jeez. Okay, so it's not roofs, it's like on the, the edges of these quarry things. But it feels like it is. A narrow path. You're, you're trying to take a narrow path to a sheer drop at the end. That's what I'm saying. And it's pretty cool. It's different than the other ones as far as the type of skill required to stay the color between the lines. It's more difficult when you've got a sheer cliff face, someone said. And he does it again. I think. No, I only got two! What? What did I need for three? I didn't even know what you could get to. I thought it was like the times were for one and for three. Well, I guess you can get two. I know now you can get two because I missed getting one. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe I was deserved three. Maybe I got enough time for three, but I complained too much about the physics, and so they only gave me two. I don't know. All right, folks, well, it's coming on 8 o'clock, and I think what's going to happen here is I'm going to unlock these three races. 
And then in the next um, stream, we'll uh, do these main event challenges. Although I don't know. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see what it what the 121s mean. We'll see how much time there is. If I if I unlock one of these, if I do one of these and see see what happens to me. At any rate, um, 80s rally, modern rally. It's a sprint, so it should be fast. And I can use uh, which one is this? That's the uh, that's the modern rally. Now let's do that one. So folks, again, thank you for stopping by, watching the stream. Streams are always posted almost immediately thereafter onto YouTube. My YouTube ID is Rollcage TV. All one word. If you search on YouTube, you'll find it, or you can follow the link in my profile on Twitch. If you're watching on YouTube, I'd appreciate if you came over to Twitch and dropped me a follow. A follow on Twitch is the best way for me to make better quality streams. Better quality streams mean better quality videos. Uh, my ID on uh, Twitch is Rollcage Underbar TV. And if you know who has Roll Cage TV without the underbar, tell him I'm looking for him. I want to I get his ID. I'm willing to negotiate. Anyway, Roll Cage Underbar TV on Twitch. And uh, that's also in the link down below all of my YouTube videos and also on my YouTube profile. Let's get started here. I see it's on this blue ice, which does not make me happy. But I am in a good car. should be able to handle this. Oh, it's a reverse sprint. That's why they didn't give me the option of the other sprint cars. Could you imagine trying to drive those on ice? Would be bad enough. And then having to drive them backwards? <laughs> it would be impossible. They naturally turn left. They don't naturally go straight. If you try to go straight, you'll go left. I don't know how you could get them to turn successive right-hand turns. That would be... You'd have to drive them in reverse, I think. Which actually would be kind of a fun challenge, now that I think about it. I'm going to have to see if I can do that. Is there a way I can pick up in free play and go to, like, East Kitten or something? My cat runs into her pillow again. Um, if I can go, go to one of those places and... Uh, oh, this is so fast. And... Do it in reverse, but with one of those cars. That would be hysterical. Han circuit reverse. Okay, I got to see if I can do this with the uh, those other cars. Not not now on stream. I'll I'll try that later, or maybe as bonus content at the end of a stream or something. Oh, zero rep. I think that means max rep fifteen. I've reached it. I got a switch. I thought I had two more races. I only did one more race. Hmm. My cat is so sweet. She wants to lay down next to me in her pillow. She lays down next to me. I have a little pillow here. She crawls inside the pillowcase. And she lays down, taking her life in her hands. So nobody's going to sit on her. She's a black cat inside of a black pillowcase. But, you know, I've learned to not sit on her. And uh, now she's scraping her paw on the pillow, but she can't use it because I'm using it to hold up my tablet because I'm monitoring my chat on it. But she's just so cute. She's going to break my heart. Oh, well. <laughs> Depending on how cute she is, all that stuff. Oh, well. Uh, well, here's an icebreaker. It's not New York. Let's give it a shot. It's either that or Jim Connor and... I think I feel like I've done enough Gymkhana today. Icebreaker in Nepal. <laughs> this is my female cat. I have two cats. They are both black. One is an 11-year-old male. The other is a 10-year-old female. The names are Tuna and Sardine. The vet always gets a kick out of that, even though we've been going to the same vet for, I mean, 11 years. They still laugh about it. 
You are what you eat, is what I always say, so I named them tuna and sardine. He is not giving up, trying to give me that pillowcase. It's folded in half. You can't get in the pillowcase, because that, that end is sealed. Cats are determined. She's never going to give up. There's lots of room for her to lay down next to me, not in the pillow, but... Mom's in her pillow, do not She's not going to give up. Wait, I, uh... I have no idea where I'm going. I turned left, everybody else turned right, and you know what? Left was wrong, right was right. And now I'm way in last place. And, like, so far in last place, I should probably restart this race, but it is an icebreaker, and there's a chance I'll catch up and finish not last. I don't know. I'll give it to the end of this lap. If it looks like I'm never going to have no chance of catching up, then I will uh, restart the race. It's going to be boring to watch five laps of me just staring off in the distance with no, better, no chance. I hate restarting races, but this is, this is kind of ridiculous. I don't know. It is kind of a challenge to see if I can finish not last. Oh, uh-oh, I'm going to finish not last because somebody went completely off the road. Okay, there you go. There you go, folks. I'm in a, I'm in a race, I'm in a challenge race, a grudge match with last and not last. Right now I'm not last. Last is right behind me, waiting for me to go off the road. And it might happen. I went off the road once. Not because I spun out, just because I uh, yeah, tell my right to my left. Even when I'm looking at a map. Although, I will confess, I wasn't looking at the map. <laughs> My cat is not giving up. <laughs> oh, I may have to pause the stream after this race and just, you know, give her access to that pillowcase. <laughs> she's determined. She's going to get in that pillow. <laughs> oh. She giving up? She jumped down. No, she's not giving up. She jumped down from the couch onto the floor so that uh, she can attack it from underneath. <laughs> still not gonna. Still not gonna. Oh, man. Well, I seem to have caught up to uh, another group of cars here, so maybe if I had not gone the wrong way, I would have had a chance to be decently in this Oh! Is that another concussion? No, just a lightning strike. Okay, three laps to go. Leave a comment down below. Tell me what position you think I'll, I'll end up in. Do it right now, otherwise you're cheating. You watch the rest of the race. You can always edit it later. Man. Oh yeah, fender brakes. That's how you get position on that next turn. I'm in sixth. Top half of the grid. Worthy goal. After my start. This is a wicked environment, actually rather like this. All the lightning and storm and snow and the blue ice and yellow snow and I mean, it's a dangerous environment. <laughs> it's kind of funny. I'm like, I'm in sixth place, nowhere near the top five positions, but I'm also kind of leaving the people behind me behind a little bit. Until I make a big mistake. <laughs> These uh, lightning strikes are quite uh, quite distracting. 
Oh, she finally laid down next to me, not in the pillow. She gave up on the pillow, but she stayed. That's a good girl. I'm maintaining my lead, but I'm not stretching it on these guys. Yeah, well, kind of a shame I got to such, off to such a poor start, because uh, this is actually a fun, fun place to race. This is a fun race. But I'm in first place for those not in the first five places. Oh, she's back at the pillow now. She just got tired and gave up for a while. She wasn't laying down, she was resting. I'm sure there are some of you out there watching this watching this on the VOD or on YouTube, nobody's saying in the chat, and I'm sure some of you are screaming out loud, let that poor cat in her pillow, what kind of monster are you? <laughs> Coming in sixth in this race isn't as important as letting your cat in that pillow, for goodness sakes. Don't torment the poor thing. And of course there's others out there that are saying, what, you care about your cat? <laughs> But I love my cat. Oh, she's back on the floor now, trying to get in, in the pillowcase on the other side. Okay, well, when this race is over, I've got to let her in that pillowcase, because she's not giving up. Oh, as soon as I say that, she starts to walk away, just to prove that I'm a liar. And there you go, the race is over. Dardine, you want on your pillow now? No, now she's gone. Right up until the final, final part of the final lap, she's digging in the pillowcase. Now that I'm uh, actually trying to make it accessible to her, she's nowhere to be found. Okay, that's a cat. That's what cats do. They assert their dominance over the human race. At any rate, all right, six, not bad. And uh, it's getting close to that time. I'm going to be wrapping up in about 15 minutes. So, uh, oh, yeah, lightning. So I'm going to uh, try to figure out what I'm going to do here for the next 15 minutes before I sign off. Dang it, I forgot to change my sponsor again. Oh, and I also forgot to go back and do throwdowns. Ugh. I forget a lot of things. <laughs> I'm getting old. That lightning, it's... It's distracting me. That thunder. The flashing. <sighs> Alright. I will change my sponsor. I'm probably not going to do a throwdown now. Who did I say I was going to do? Go to? It wasn't Goodyear. It was somebody even better than Goodyear. It wasn't Pepsi. It was uh, not Pepsi. That was also 2200 Oh, Spy was 2000 Oh, Pepsi is now 22 Oh, they raised the stakes a little bit? No, no, I'm still not going to go to Pepsi. I'll lose half my viewers. I'll go to Spy. Oh, Total is now... They're changing this around, I swear. Total Spy was higher than Total. Now Total's higher. All right, let's eat some cereal, I guess. Okay. I know it's not the cereal company. But feel free to leave a comment. Tell me how stupid I am. Okay, I am going to do this land rush. And then, uh, maybe I'll call it a day. I don't know. We'll see. If there's time, I'll do one more race, see what I have to do to unlock that other thing. Oh, good. Hmm. Land rush. So speed is probably more important. That's why we'll pick that. In Morocco, we'll see if speed is more important. It is a nice purple color, though. I was uh, trying to find trying to find a good color scheme and 
some of the colors are really hard to do if you just if you don't want to think too much like if you watched watch my uh earlier earlier streams you know i just figured out how to paint the car by just taking all the reds and moving them down five spots so it's kind of not every color works like that you can't get a nice yellow colored car by just making it red and adjusting the color a little Oh, I thought I was going to jump. I was going to do a jump pass. First for... What is that? Zero, 05 slash 10 seconds? 05? Wait, what? Position first for 05 slash 10 S. I assume that's 10 seconds. What's the 05? Oh, so 10 seconds, you know, the back job. No, I don't know what that means. Oh, I see. This gonna, it's going to count up. I see. So far, I'm at zero seconds. It's going to count up. One second, two seconds, three seconds. When it gets to 10 seconds, I will have uh, won the award. See, I can figure these things out. I'm no dummy, I just don't pay attention. <laughs> I don't know a lot of things, and I'm not paying attention. If I paid attention, I'd be pretty smart. I'd learn a lot if I just paid attention. Oh, I want to get the, the 0S to a 10S, and I didn't get in the lead. Oh, no, I'm never going to get in the lead now. Oh, oh, sad. Sad face. Oh, oh, this is not good. Oh. oh, I don't want to restart the race. I'm not going to restart the race. I'll have other chances to get to 10 seconds. And I think I can still finish not last. But boy, it looked like I was going to win it easily once I got out of traffic. But not last is within my reach. I can see him in front of me until the uh, sandstorm starts. I can see him. I'm not sure I'm gaining on him, but I can see him still. Big little tail lights. Ha 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 ha! You did the same thing I did. I'm not last. I'm not last. I love it when the uh, AI can mess up as badly as you can. There's still time for me to finish last, so... Oh, look at this. He's, like, flying. He's flying. This was apparently not the guy I was chasing for last. This is one of the faster guys that ended up on the wall. I don't think I'm going to be able to hold him down. He is significantly faster than me. Look, buddy, I'm sorry I said ha ha. It was a joke. I didn't mean to make fun of you, honest. Uh -huh. Look, me and you both have a chance to finish not last if we just teamed up and cooperated and stopped fighting and, you know, teamed up on the next guy. No, he figures he can beat me straight out. He probably can't. Look at that. Look, he is so much faster than me. I have one more lap. He needs to do another nose dive somewhere. Right in the wall. Can I hold this guy off? Can I outmaneuver him for the last lap? I'm thinking not, but uh, it's worth giving it a shot. I got something to fight for here, not last. Oh 
almost catching up to the traffic ahead of me, so I got a chance of finishing that last few different ways. But I really want to prove that I can hold this guy off now. Blocking him out, I'm blocking him out. Big jump. behind me, whether it's the guy I was fighting or the other guy. Well, to be sure, I have to hold them both off. I am now in not not last. Oh, that was a good here. That was a good uh, handbrake turn there. And it looks like I'm going to do it. Yes! Not not last. All right, I feel good about myself. <laughs> that was the best 10th uh, place finish I felt. Best I felt in a 10th place finish in a long time. Fought that one guy off. Look at all that reputation now. Okay, let's see what's next. One more race. Time for one more race. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Let's do a throwdown. I'll face that other uh, dilemma later. You see head to head. Ethan, Fran, or Simon. There's no way to see what kind of class everything is, huh? Maybe if I start into it. Well, I'll do this one because I think this has been on my list for a while. I think the other ones are a bit newer. Oh, really? Well, it's Ultra Cross at least, not on the ice. Although it probably will be on that same blue ice. But this is it. This is going to be the last race of the stream, folks. Wish me luck. Wish me well. Cheer me on. this course. Oh, this looks like it's going to be fun. This definitely looks like it's going to be fun, but also loud. I hope you can hear me. This, I do not recognize this. Have I gone, done this track in New York before? I don't know if I have. Oh, maybe the first, I think the first challenge race was in here, was here, maybe. I don't know. Sticking that inside wall. Oh, a little too wide there. things and I didn't do it very well at all. Did not do that at all. That was meant to be uh, done. Okay, well, one lap. I'm behind, but i got an idea of the layout better now. That's a wall. That's the layout. I know the layout. I don't want to drive into that wall. Focusing now. I'm getting all quiet. I'm asking for Oh, that fooled me last time. It fooled me again. It's just little chicane. I think it's a turn. Yeah, 
Okay, check that inside corner. Get some traction. Go to the inside here. Stay to the inside here. Oh, uh, down over me. Cross me out. Came across my bow, as it were. I get through the city here this time. Oh, I did it again. Did it again and bought even worse. Ah, I need to stop going the wrong way. I don't have a chance here. I would definitely be in the lead if I had more skill. <laughs> That's basically what I'm saying. If I were better at the game, I'd, I'd finish better at the game. If I did better, I'd do better. If I did better, I'd do better. Something like that. You know, the old adage that made the best player win. No, oh, no, I'd like to win every so often. So I don't, you know, I don't buy by me the best player win. I'd like to win. Sometimes. I mean, the best player can win more often, but since I'm not the best player, I'd like, you know, the not best player to win sometimes. Get all discouraged. And the best player win a reasonable amount of time, but not so much that the not best player gets discouraged and gives up on life. How's that? Okay, folks. I know how to do this now. There we go. I remember how this works now. I remember that layout of that turn. One more turn to go, and I'm in the lead, and I think I'm going to do it. I think I can't lose now. Yes! So I, I learned how to drive! Oh, man. Yeah, it was a fun race to race. I hope it was a fun way, race to watch. For all of you guys, not for AJ. I don't really care about AJ. But I do love my viewers and my followers and my watchers on YouTube and all that. This is going to do it for me for this stream, folks. Coming up in the next stream, we will uh, try to crash through the barrier into the final challenge and uh, see what it takes to actually win this game. Maybe we can figure out what the 121 means. I have no idea. We'll find out next time. Leave you on a cliffhanger. I'm not going to find out before then. I'm not going to try to experiment because uh, I'll find out when you find out. It's not going to be that long. Just going to be, you know, 22 hours or something. I'll be back here tomorrow. With another Dirt 5 stream. I stream here on Twitch. I've been streaming twice a day now for a bit. In the mornings on US time, US Central time. I'm uh, streaming Dirt Rally 2.0. And uh, in the evenings, uh, US Central time, I'm doing uh, Dirt 5 playthrough. You can look at my Twitch schedule and see uh, what is scheduled. Of course, you know, things may, may change. But uh, that's my basic schedule. After the stream ends, which will be in just a couple minutes here, I will start posting this up on YouTube. I post all of my streams to YouTube after the fact. So if you miss anything here, they're archived there forever. My YouTube profile is Roll Cage TV. If you search for that on YouTube, you will uh, find my little profile picture there. Follow that, that little cat. Oh, is that a replay? There's no way for me to do a replay, but they're showing a replay. Huh. Anyway, um, <laughs> focus, Roll Cage, focus. Uh, so, as I was saying, um, YouTube, everything's posted to YouTube. If you're watching on Twitch and you miss something, you can go to YouTube, check out the replays. If you're on YouTube um, and you want, want to support me, the best way to support me is... Uh, to actually come back to Twitch and give me a follow because my streaming is on Twitch. You don't have to necessarily watch the stream on Twitch, but the more followers I have, the better quality I can stream. And the better quality stream means the better quality videos for everyone. I would like everyone to be able to watch the stream, but also watch the videos in as best quality as possible. Only way to do that 
is if I get enough followers, I can move up into a Twitch tier. So if you're watching on YouTube, you can find me on Twitch. I am Rollcage Underbar TV. And uh, also, of course, that link to my Twitch channel is in my profile and in the description of all of my videos. Thank you all very much for watching today. I had a great time. I uh, hope you had a great time watching. I try to provide uh, some fun content for tryhards like me who aren't necessarily the most talented, but still like to enjoy playing the games. So have a great day. Have a great night wherever you are and to wherever you're going today. Hope you enjoy the drive. Bye-bye.